Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Allie's Amazing Sense. If you're new here, my name is Allison, your independent Sensi consultant. And today I have my empties to share with you. So let's just dive in. We're somehow already at the end of July, so figured it was a good time to hop on here. First thing we have is washer whips in black raspberry vanilla. So these are primarily used by my oldest daughter, Maddie. She likes to use this in all of her laundry. Um, it's just a great, it's such a great scent in laundry and uh, it really sticks to your clothes. And it is unique for laundry. Um, I was actually just watching a video today where someone was mentioning if you don't like the wax, you should still try it in laundry. And I agree with that. It does just hit different in laundry and um, definitely worth giving a shot. Next thing I have here is a fragrance flower in uh, coconut, coconuts for coconut. Coconuts for coconuts. So this is a new fragrance flower this season. This scent was new last year, spring, summer. And I've had it out for a couple days and it's doing well. Um, I keep fragrance flowers in my entryway because I don't have an outlet there. And uh, so I like to always have a fragrance flower there. The one that I had there was Fiji flower from was it last year um, in the summer collection? And it, it was starting to, I don't know, it, there's still oil in it, but you can't smell it very well. So I moved that into my bathroom and put this out so that we could enjoy this during the rest of the summer. It is more of a summer scent. Um, it's going to retire at the end of August and I'm not sure if we'll see it again. Um, I would guess, but you never know. Uh, next non-wax item is I finally got through a body cream in whipped lavender vanilla. Uh, this scent is currently in our catalog, at least through the end of this season, in wax, uh, but not in body. Uh, the body collection came out for Mother's Day last year, so I've had this for over a year. It took me a long time to get through it because it was just kind of boring to me. Um, this is English lavender, coconut milk, and whipped vanilla. But to me, it's just like a generic lavender scent. And it was kind of bummed that Mother's Day that they did like everything in this scent. Um, because it's not really a unique scent. To me, it was just like, eh, you know, it's, it's a lavender, which I like lavender, but... It was just kind of boring. So um, I, I enjoy the formulation on this, but I was just really glad to get through this so that I can move on to a more exciting scent. Got through a pack of cotton cleanups uh, just in time for my party closeout order that just came. I usually uh, get a pack of these every time I close out a party and that's usually enough to get me through. You get 25 in here, and I use these to clean out my warmers that I keep on 24-7, just so I can just put it in there, soak up the wax, and then change it. Uh, my other warmers, which is most of the warmers in my house, I like to do, well, I prefer to do the warm-up method. Otherwise, I will do cool down, but that takes longer. But the warm-up method, um, turn your warmers on. I set the timer uh, on my microwave for seven minutes, but usually about five minutes. I'll start going around and you can just scoop out the wax. You just hook your finger in there and scoop it and it just pops right out in one solid piece, um, which is really one of the reasons that I love Scentsy compared to other wax companies is the formula, the formulation that they use for the wax it's really easy to change it out that way. You can also let it cool down until it solidifies. It takes about 20, 25 minutes, maybe a half an hour and do it that way. But um, usually, you know, I'll start out the morning if I'm gonna change up my wax that day by just setting the timer and going around and scooping out the little wax pucks. 
Um, so I don't use cotton cleanups for everything. Otherwise, <laughs> I would go through a lot of them. Uh, so speaking of Fiji flower, I did get through a Fiji flower laundry liquid. Uh, this, well, this was also in the summer collection a couple years ago uh, with the old packaging. Made it to catalog in laundry this season. And it is sticking around for fall winter, I am happy to say. Um, there's been a lot of spoilers. That's my dog. It's Maple. Say hi, Maple. <laughs> um, there's been a lot of spoilers out there from Cincy family, family Reunion as we find out what is coming and going from the catalog. And I'm happy to say that Fiji Flower is staying in laundry. Um, this has been very popular. A lot of people really love it in laundry. It's very pretty scent. So, got through that. My empties um, are not as overflowing as they usually are. I didn't wait as long to go ahead and share with you guys. So, I guess that's a good thing. I got through a pod in uh, Pink Rhubarb Sugar. This has been like my favorite pod this season. Um, it is new to pods this season. It was a new scent last year for spring summer and it is retiring at the end of this spring summer. Um, yeah, I just really love this with uh, the tartness of the rhubarb and then it's kind of like a almost like a a berry note. I don't know if there's berry in here, but it kind of reminds me a little bit of um, Alice in Wonderland, We're All Mad Here, or even, you know, some of those ones, uh, some of the darker berry scents that Scentsy has. This reminds me of it. So I was really excited that this came out in pods, and I've been using the pods quite a bit. I used this in my car, and then when I thought it was almost dead, I brought it in my office and put it in the mini fan diffuser there for a couple more days just to, like, really get a full use out of it. Um, so in my air um, air purifier, I went through two pods of Just Breathe. Our air purifiers, you can put pods in them. You don't have to, and but you can put one or two pods in. I feel like uh, that system, it is harder to smell the pods. Uh, than just some of our other um, pod fan systems. So I try to use stronger scents in my air purifier for pods, and this did really well. This is Just Breathe. Um, I actually picked these up to put in my air purifier when I still had my cat um, because the litter box was by the air purifier, and I thought that these would do well there. And she has since moved on um, but uh, obviously I'm still going to use these and use my air fan diffuser and I air pot I can't talk today my um, my air purifier I don't even know if I had called it that when I first was telling you guys about this but it's an air purifier does a great job and I think that this would be a scent that stands up to a cat box. I'm sorry. It's been a long day. Um, just got home. That's why my puppy's here with me. She missed me being gone all day. The um, pods I replaced it with is Clean Breeze. And these are still in there. And they're doing great. Um, I love Clean Breeze and all the things. It's a great performer. And pods are no exception. So speaking of Clean Breeze, I'll just talk about this now. I got through half a brick of Clean Breeze um, in my open concept. I put wax in all of my warmers out here, which I don't always do because I have a lot of warmers, but um, put a little bit in every warmer and this went and went. I think I got, I think I got five days out of it. And um, when I walked by the mini fan diffuse, mini, um, mini warmers in my kitchen. I can still smell it this morning. So, um, this is a great performer. And like I said, there, I, I don't have a bad thing to say about Queen Breeze other than I'm sad that they took this scent, um, out of laundry, but at least we still have it 
in other forms. So I 100% would purchase this brick again. They are going to be having um, three bricks in the catalog that you can just order anytime, like not through Scentsy Club. Um, Christmas Cottage Pumpkin Roll, I think. And then another one. None of them were really um, up my alley, but I think it's really exciting that they are putting bricks in the catalog. And I hope to see that continue with them rotating some of the popular brick scents in catalog. Okay, this is what I have going in my bedroom right now. And I love this combination. Totally doing this again. So I did one cube to one cube in the same warmer of my wish with um, violet and sponge sugar, violet sponge sugar. So my wish is um, fig, marshmallow, and I think it is violet. Maybe it's lavender. I think it's violet. Um, and then this is just a, like a sweet violet with like a little bit of a sugar note to it really good but anyway um there is a bit of a almost like an anise tone to this i don't want to say bitter but it there is a little bit of something in this which i don't mind but when i put something sweeter like the violet and sponge sugar with it um it really just brought out the sweetness in my wish so these are both currently in my club um i don't know if either of them are like forever and ever and ever bars but um i'm glad that they're both in there so that i can do this mix they're both great on their own but yeah they were awesome together so i like this so much that i'm actually thinking of doing it again back to back when i change out that wax and that's very rare for me to do the same scent back to back but it was so good that I think I might have to do it again. Highly recommend that. Okay, I put these in the bag because they were gooey. Um, I did three bars in my open concept of some citrus bars that I thought would play well together, and they did. The first one is Mango Maca. I had partial bar of this and I don't really like this scent this is a new release this season and it's pretty popular and I think it probably will come back next year but I don't really like it so I wanted to use that up and I had some bars that have gone goopy and so um Tropic Tango is one of them and this is an older bar you can see it doesn't have the embossed clamshell um I think I picked this up in a flash sale yeah just a tropical fruity scent and then hey tiger lily so yes this has like um an orange note to it i believe but it also has a floral with the tiger lily mm, really pretty and i thought that actually played really well with these scents because it made it so it wasn't like that coin almost like artificial scent that i get from the mango one but adding a little bit of a bar with some floral, really nice. So these um, were a great mixture. Uh, separate warmers, alternating warmers, and pretty strong too. Uh, I kind of forgot that Hey, Ti hey Tiger Lily is a stronger scent. That was the scent of the month last year, I believe. Okay, what do we got here? Yeah, okay. I was trying to use up some goopy bars and so I went ahead and used up Faithful Friends and you can see it was goopy and it's also the older packaging. This was um, came out with the Lady and the Tramp Buddies which was Valentine's Day it must have been 2022. Um, the Buddies are super cute. My girls have them. They have magnetic noses that kiss but the wax was just meh. It's more of just a wax smell than anything. Get a little bit of like a red berry scent, but it was pretty generic. Um, it didn't, it, it smelled like wax that you would just get 
at the grocery store or something. Um, it wasn't very impressive and um, we probably won't see this back because I don't think very many people liked it. Um, it's cute packaging though. So what I did was six cubes in my laundry room and then I used up the last two cubes in my bathroom. And it was okay, but I'm glad to be done with that. I think that's my last bar, but I think I had gotten two bars. Uh, that was during COVID when that came out and um, maybe it was 21 then. Maybe it was. Um, anyway, there was like a delay in the release and so they, uh, the people that couldn't get the pre-order right away or whatever it was, I don't remember exactly, but they compensated everyone by giving them an extra bar. So I had two bars of it. Um, yeah. Okay. So in my laundry room, I think this is what I have in there right now. Currently coconut cotton. And that's just a little sticker bead that Maya has been getting all over everything, but coconut cotton beautiful scent. This is in my club. This got voted back as one of the um, bring back my washer whiffs. First, first time ever bring back my washer whiffs. They announced the winners. I can't confirm when they'll be back, but I have heard uh, end of September. I don't know if that's true. Um, but the winners are coconut cotton, shimmer, and ocean. I'm so excited. For one, I think this would be great, but um, ocean. I voted like crazy for that one. So glad that it will be coming back. The picture that they showed at SFR um, was just a little washer with tub. So I don't know if they're going to make it available in the bigger ones. They were just showing like this size one, but I'm going to definitely be excited to try this. It's just such a nice, fresh, like fresh linen scent with a little bit of coconut in it. Well, more than a little bit. I'd say I get more coconut than linen. Ugh, so good, though. Coconut cotton. I'm hoping it does okay in whiffs. It's not the strongest performing bar in wax, but it's still good. Okay. Um, I just wanted to use this up because I don't really like this scent. This is Palm Trees and Ocean Breeze. So I used this, I, I think I had um, six cubes left and I used it up in my girl's bedroom. And yeah, there's something weird. This has that weird aquatic note that I don't like that Scentsy uses. Not like ocean, but I don't know. It's like artificial to me. There's Maple. <laughs> She's uh, looking out the window, but yeah, I don't like this scent, so I put it in their room and nobody said anything, so I guess it didn't bother them. This was from when it was a scent of the month, and so I had gotten several um, a couple years ago, but it's been in the catalog for two seasons now. I don't know if we'll see it back. I mean, I know a lot of people do like it, but I, I would not be sad if it didn't come back. Um... Okay, so another goopy bar that I wanted to use up is Aussie Plum. This is really nice. Uh, I think this was one of the club exclusive Bring Back My Bars um, when they did that a couple years ago. And it was in my club for a few rounds because I love plum scents. But eventually I just had to decide which plum scents were going to stay in my club. And this one didn't make the cut. It is a pretty standard plum scent. I've mixed it before. Um, I think I mixed it with Halloween Town, maybe. It's a good mixer. But um, I have this just going on its own in my office, and it was really nice. I, I love, like, a good dark, juicy plum scent. So I would purchase this again if it came back. And then after that went in my office, this lasted... I think I had it in there for three days, but really... The third day it was pretty late. So then this whole week in my office I had going silhouette for five days and it lasted the whole time. I love silhouette. I don't remember the scent notes. It's a difficult scent to explain. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here but it's good. It's fresh like a little bit of a laundry 
almost type scent, but not really. Is there patchouli? Or some type of woods note? I don't know. I'm sorry. This is, I'm, I'm like doing a horrible job describing this. Um, but it's, it's really great. But I'm getting gooey just holding it right now. Um, but yeah, I had gotten like six of these when they were in clearance. Um, I would purchase it again, but I don't know if I would stock up on that many because it's one of those red um, bars that just sweats a lot. So, but I really love that scent. If I had the chance to club it, I probably would. Um, a bar that is in my club is Snuggle Up. Um, this is just a great cozy, clean laundry scent. Um, it's similar to jammy time, but it's stronger and um, so good. So I did that in my bedroom, got a few days out of it. This is open concept worthy though. Okay, in my office, I did pillow time. Um, this was from the same collection as Snuggle Up, but this is an older bar it doesn't have the embossed it's probably from when this collection came out a couple years ago um, maybe three years ago I was not a consultant I'm not sure if I got I got this somewhere from um, another consultant but uh, this is a really great smell this was in my club for a minute too I think this has um, blue tansy in it. So it's like a floral, but it's not a powdery floral. It's kind of an invigorating scent. I know it was in the Catching Z's collection, but to me it just kind of perks up your nose. And uh, so this was a really fun one. I wish I had more. I might have one more, but I think this is my last bar. But it, it was just getting sweaty, so it was time to just use it up and enjoy it. Um, this is a club bar for me. This is Huckleberry and Clementine. Uh, this is Huckleberry, Clementine, and Strawberry Vine. Really good. It's similar to Scentsy's, um, like, Blackberry scents. So, um, this is a very strong scent. I put six cubes in my garage and two cubes to finish it off in my um, bathroom. And it kept wafting out of the bathroom. And even in my garage, it was it was pretty strong. And maybe part of the reason for that is I I have I had one um element warmer in there. I had the baby Yoda warmer in there, which I still have in there, but I put a second element warmer in there recently. Um I don't remember what it's called. It's an older one. Um it's not currently available, but I think they're both eight watt and so I put that in there and so that that way I was able to do three cubes and three cubes and everything was going great until my husband noticed that I had taken up all the outlets and he was like why'd you put a new warmer in here and he unplugged it and stuff so today I just went and plugged it back in but um <laughs> anyway um that's a great scent so if you like, um, like vanilla blackberry, even like we're all mad here, Monstropolis, those type of scents, you would probably like that one if it came back. That might have been a club exclusive as well. Okay, that went with something. I'm like looking for ones that, oh, I did this in my office too, spring forward, and um, you can tell it's an older bar and so it was goopy. This is from when it was a bring back my bar and I really love this scent. This was in my club for quite a while and then it showed up in clearance and so I just bought like six bars and took it out of my club. It's a really great floral and I think it has, um, raspberry preserves as one of the notes. So you know, that differentiates it from other florals and it's not 
uh, like a heady floral or powdery or anything. Really great. Uh, so if you ever get the chance to try Spring Forward, I would recommend it. Okay, so um, we have been having some hot weather. I mean, obviously it's end of July. And so in my open concept, a scent that I like to do like during the hottest part of the year is beach. And I had to wait until my um, club came until I got a second one because I wanted to do two bars in my open concept. Um, I find to really enjoy scents in my open concept, especially in the summer, like with the AC going and stuff, that I, I need to do two bars. Um, that's probably not the case for everyone. That's probably overkill, but that's just me. I like to do at least two bars out here. So, um, two bars of beach and it was great. Um, yeah, to me, this scent just is almost like a, you know, a scent memory for me of just the really hot summer weather. Um, cause that's when I first swarm this a few years ago, but yeah, this was in my club when it came out in Bring Back My Bar in June 2020. It wasn't in there very long. I took it out, um, and now it's back in there. So uh, it's pretty strong on the papaya, and I think that can be a turn off for some people. But this is just kind of like a, a classic scent um, for Scentsy. So... You know, some sense they just have that smell where it's like maybe something that would have been, it's really good still, but you know, it smells like something that would have been really popular like 10 years ago or something, um, which is kind of how I feel about black raspberry vanilla, except in laundry. Um, but beach, yeah, it's, I think it was around a long time ago. I don't know when it was last available in catalog. Um, but people must like it because it, two years is how long you have to wait between most bring back my bars. And, um, well, I guess it would have been three years, but it came back, you know, 2020 and then 2023. So yeah, this is in my club. This is a great bar. It is strong. This is a powerhouse. Mm, yes. Really love it. And it does have some other tropical, um, the fruity notes, but it's basically papaya to me. And I think to a lot of people. Um, so in my bedroom, I did lavender and white balsam. Uh, this is the newer clamshell, but the old bring back my bar packaging. This was last available in the last bring back my bar. The last time they did it in December was I think 2020. Um, And I almost think, hmm, I don't know, but this is so good. I'm, I'm glad I have kept it in my club this long. Um, it's lavender and, and white balsam, but they just blend so well together. I'm usually not a big fan of most tree scents. Um, not just pine, but tree scents in general, but this blended with the lavender is so, so beautiful. I would call it more of a winter lavender, but for me, it's a year round scent in the bedroom. Okay. So since it's still super hot out, um, I am doing, you know, my very hot weather scents out here in my open concept. So now that I have picked these up, I went ahead and warmed two bars of blue agave and, uh, melon and this is doing great. When I smelled it on cold, like I remembered it being a strong bar, but when I smelled it on cold, I was like, I don't know if this is going to pass in, in my open concept, but it's doing great. Um, I really love this scent. Um, it originally came out in a summer collection. Um, I think three summers ago and I had it in my club for a hot minute. I think it was the same summer collection that had Fiji flower. So I had it in my club for a little bit and not very long and I took it out and had like one bar that I was hoarding. Um, and I'm so glad that Scentsy brought it back in this catalog. 
um, because now I have the opportunity opportunity to experience again and club it. So this will be retiring at the end of the season, which I mean, it's a very summery scent. So I'm going to club it again. Um, and this time it's going to stay in there for a while. I don't know if we'll see this again. It seems to me like a lot of times when Sensi brings back a scent to catalog that has been gone for a while, that it will maybe stay one or two seasons, but not like long term. Um, one that comes to mind when I'm saying that is Rainbows and Butterflies. And I think that did stick around for two catalogs after it was initially released before that. I think it was a scent of the month or something. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, they usually don't stick super long term. So if you like this one, now's the time to stock up. Well, actually, August is the time to stock up because it'll be 10% off or just put it in your club. Um, so this is like, uh, it's a fruity scent, but with that agave, you get a little bit of like a, a little bit of a tanginess, um, which I obviously really like. You can tell by some of the other bars I've had in here. Um, and it's just. To me, it's a great scent for hot summer weather. So, blue agave and melon. That will be going to my club. Um, <laughs> I think we warmed all of these at the same time. Um, my husband went out of town and we had to change the wax out here in the open concept plus in my girl's room and so of course we wanted to do bakery while he was gone and Maya um some of you guys know my five-year-old I'm sorry she's six now <laughs> my six-year-old uh she loves all the ooey gooey bakeries so she helped pick out out of a bunch of partials that I had and we just um did alternating warmers of all of these great, wonderful scents. Actually, I think these were two different warm sessions. Yeah. So, one time in their bedroom, we did these two. Um, caramel buttercream, which was in the Sensepiration collection last um, winter. So it's caramel and vanilla bean buttercream. This is really nice. This was in my club um, until Gimme Candy came out. But this has aged really well. I feel like this has gotten stronger. You can see it's a little bit gooey. I didn't want to use the rest because um, it has gotten stronger and it's just mm, sticky caramel goodness. So we did that um, in alternating warmers in their bedroom with caramel vanilla delight so it's funny this was originally in my club replaced it with a stronger caramel and then replaced it with gimme candy which gimme candy is coming back I'm so excited when I saw that I was just like freaking out and I told Maya and she was super excited she said she wants to buy 35 bars so <laughs> so do I but anyway um, caramel vanilla delight so this was a bring back my bar I don't know, a couple years ago, and it's supposed to be like caramel on vanilla ice cream. And it's good. Mm, it is good, but it's not that strong. I think it's gotten stronger. In fact, I'm almost picking up a little bit of like an alcohol note. Um, but yeah not club worthy for me just because I need it to be stronger but it was really nice and it played really nice with the caramel buttercream so I'm gonna save those warm them again okay and so this is the other situation that we did that Maya helped to pick out from some partial bars and we just loaded up on um, on bakery uh, we did um, a couple cubes of gingerbread buttercream, 
This is in my club. This is a really great gingerbread scent. I'm curious to see, um, there's going to be one coming out called, I don't remember the name, but it's a snickerdoodle one. But the um, description does have cinnamon in it. It's like cookie dough, maybe it's gingerbread cookie dough and something else and cinnamon, so I don't know. So I'm going to keep this in my club until, until and unless there's a better gingerbread that comes out. But I think that Snickerdoodle could um, possibly be somewhat along the same vein. Anyway, this is really good. So we used up the rest of that. And this is in no particular order, just, you know, warmers throughout the area. Um, the rest of Graham Cracker Crunch Bar, which this is like the biggest heartbreak um, of of what's not coming back to catalog fall winter graham cracker crunch um to me it's the biggest heartache heartbreak and um to a lot of other people it is too i guess i can't really call it a heartbreak for me because it is in my club i'm so glad i came very very close to removing it thinking oh yeah it'll be back i don't know how it's not coming back because it's such a popular and unique scent and it I don't know, but if they don't bring it back in another catalog, I'm pretty sure it's going to get voted back at some time. But does that mean we have to wait two years for it? I don't know. Um, there's been a lot of people out there in the um, Sensi YouTube community that are not happy because Sensi has been making some pretty brutal cuts to the bakery section these last couple seasons and then to to see graham cracker crunch not return it just it's just really unfortunate um but yeah this is like a graham cracker peanut butter scent and it's a great mixer it's also great on its own so we had that going with the gingerbread buttercream and we also had toasted marshmallow going this is an excellent Mm, ooey gooey slightly smoky marshmallow scent um I actually like this a little bit better than bonfire beach it's sweeter and we had a couple of the mini warmers we put vanilla waves in uh we didn't use the whole bar we just used half a bar um this is another one that a lot of people were sad that it didn't come back and I don't know, Scentsy. I wouldn't call this, I mean, it's bakery, but it's not a gourmand bakery. This is more like a gourmand foodie bakery. This one, it does have a little bit of an airiness to it. It's more of a summer bakery with, it's got vanilla. It does have caramel, I believe. Um, salty sea air. Kind of just reminds you of like walking on a boardwalk in the summer. So vanilla waves. And then of course, if we're going to be doing a bakery layout in our house, we have to have gimme candy. Always, always have to have gimme candy. My last empties didn't have a gimme candy. And once we realized that we're like, okay, we need to get warming some. So this happened shortly thereafter. So, okay. You know, as upset as I am about graham cracker crunch, um, if I had to pick between the two, I would pick Gimme Candy, and Gimme Candy is coming to catalog, so I'm going to take it out of my club temporarily, I'm going to stock up on it, um, warm it, warm it, warm it this season, and then it'll go back in my club, because it'll probably retire for next spring, summer. So yeah, just to recap, um, in the girls' room, we have Caramel Vanilla Delight and Caramel Buttercream. And then out in the open concept, we had gingerbread buttercream, toasted marshmallow, gimme candy, graham cracker crunch, and vanilla waves. And so I'm sure my husband would not have appreciated that if he was here, but that's why we did it because he wasn't. <laughs> okay, we just have three testers to talk about. Um, I have a mason jar in my bathroom that I have testers in that I just, usually that's what I warm in my bathroom, but, um, 
like my laundry room and my garage currently, my warmers will hold about six cubes. Actually, I changed out in my, um, I can probably get a full bar in my laundry room now. But anyway, sometimes I'll have extra cubes left over from those like I did here that I talked about. And I'll put those in my bathroom. Otherwise, I basically just been plowing through my um my testers in the bathroom it's a great way to use up your testers I didn't order testers spring summer did I order them last fall winter I don't know um and I don't think I'm gonna order them again because I don't really do in person parties I don't have time to do them um so it's kind of not the best use of funds for me but if you have testers, I mean, it's real wax in there. Don't let them go to waste. It's about a cube and a half of wax at least. I don't know, maybe a cube. Um, but you can always pop it out with a butter knife or put them in the freezer and let them freeze and pop them out and um, use them in your warmers that way. And sometimes they mix them um, or sometimes they just do them on their own. Peach Nectar is the first one that I did. This is a spring summer scent pretty sure this is no no I don't think this made it back it was a new release two years ago I think it was only around for two seasons pretty sure we don't have it right now um this has gotten stronger with age when I first purchased the bar when it came out it was very light um but this tester at least um it did pretty good in my bathroom it did pretty good uh, so I probably would purchase this if I ever saw it show up again, like in clearance or something. Um, but I wouldn't club it. It's just a, I love peach, but it's just a very standard peach scent. Um, so another similar scent is apricot vanilla. Apricot and peach smell pretty similar. And, um, this is supposed to be like apricot and vanilla ice cream, I think. Uh, I keep thinking that this is going to get cut, and I'm sure at some point it will, but as the catalog says, it's one of Heidi's favorites. Uh, she's one of the CEOs, so maybe that is a reason why they won't cut it. But um, it's it's good. It actually smells more artificial to me than the, the peach nectar. Peach nectar is a pretty authentic peach, and peach can be a tough one to... Um, get the smell right and wax and in fact I remember Orville saying in a video end of the month live it must have been when um oh what was that one I don't remember they had a peach scent drawing a blank now that was a good one too anyway he said um that peach can read like cat urine to people at times and so I don't know, this doesn't smell like cat urine to me, but it smells artificial a little bit. And it actually gave my friend a headache. She had ordered a bar of it, uh, I think last year, and ended up giving the rest of the bar to me because certain scents induce headaches for her, but usually it's like florals. But this one was a headache inducer for her. So, I don't know, it's okay. Um, and then, I also used a tester in pineapple pucker. So with the testers, the sticker color is the color of the clamshell. Um, pineapple pucker, just a standard pineapple scent. It's not available this season. I think we had it last year. Um, I did pick up a bunch of scent circles in a flash sale of um, pineapple pucker. And it's nice. I, I enjoy pineapple. I think this would be a good mixer. Um, I've only warmed it or used it on its own, but I think it'd be a good mixer um, for a fruity summer scent. But yeah, just a basic, pretty standard pineapple scent. So that is it. That is all of my empties. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me. Uh, we have a lot of exciting things happening um, just around the corner with Scentsy. So in a couple days we will be in transition, transition month where we transition catalogs. So everything in the current catalog will be at least 10% off. 
sometimes they'll do everything 10% off. Sometimes they will do 10% um, off. But if something's like, like everything that's like something that carries over, like Clean Breeze would be 10% off. But something that is a summer seasonal scent that isn't going to come back in fall, winter, maybe 20% off. I don't know if they're doing that this year. Um, I've heard the number 10% floating around. Also, I don't think license items are 10%. But um, there is some big stuff around the corner. We have a huge harvest collection that launches the same day as the fall winter catalog. We have our bricks coming out that are going to be shaped like Christmas trees. They are the same um, amount of wax in them. We have a friend's warmer coming out. And people are going to go nuts for that one. I have a friend that um, she loves friends. And so um, I'm going to make sure that if she wants that warmer that we're able to get on there early and get it. Because that's one where if they don't have a lot of quantity, I can see that selling out. Um, people who are Friends fans are very loyal <laughs> Friends fans. And that's going to be going like hotcakes in my opinion. Um, so that's great that their Sensi is expanding out more on their Warner Brothers um, licensing. I also saw that we're going to have a Willy Wonka collection. Yeah, I didn't see a warmer. They didn't show what I saw. I didn't go to SFR, but like just like spoilers, I've seen. I only saw three bars, and all the bars sounded good. Like they're like um, there's a fruity one. I forget what it's called, and then there's a bubbly one. That's supposed to be like when Charlie and his grandpa um, drink the stuff that made them float up. And then there's one, I think it's called Violet's Gone Violet. And, you know, the girl Violet that, um, I think she chewed the gum and turned into a big blueberry or something. I don't, I loved that movie as a kid, but I haven't seen it in a while. Um, but that looks like a really fun collection. All of those bars sound good. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of the spoilers, so I won't get too into it. But I think it's cool that Sensi gives out some of this information early so that we can kind of plan and um, figure out which of our customers might want certain products and to not be overwhelmed by it. And I mean, most of us don't have an unlimited budget. So, like, for me, you know, I'm like, okay... Like, that was one of the reasons I passed on getting the, um, more, the Scent of the Month kit this season, this month, is because I knew that there's going to be some bigger things coming down the road. The Villains Collection is coming out again in some form. I don't know if they're going to have all the scents. From what I have seen, we're going to have a Villains Warmer, which is like, um, well, it's a Just One Bite Apple. And just one bite, scent is coming back. Ursula is coming back, which Maddie's going to be happy about. That's her favorite scent. Um, what else? I think they're going to have a... Um, oh, I'm drawing a blank on his name. The, the villain... Uh, sorry, um, my husband just got home from work. So I'll go ahead and wrap it up, but... Um, they're also going to have three fragrance flowers for the villains collection. Um, also the fragrance flowers that are colored, the colored, um, oil fragrance flowers for the harvest collection are going to have the colored oil. We're going to have a poinsettia fragrance flower that the oil is not colored, but the flower is already colored with the red and the green poinsettia. So there is a lot of great things around the corner. Um, I will be sharing things with you as I receive. I'm going to have to choose carefully what I get. But anyway, um, I'll be sharing all that with you guys. So thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.